Our wonderful loved ones, Mommy, Daddy, Star, Cheyenne, Blackie, and Bear. Just as surely as you know how much you loved us when we were with you, you can be sure that there is a pet heaven, and that's where we are now. Mommy and Daddy, Star and Cheyenne, the Rainbow Bridge is just like you told me it is. So please, don't worry about us. Of course, we miss all of you, but we're safe and happy here. Now, just in case you might be wondering why I keep referring to us, or we, well, guess who was waiting to greet me when I arrived here? That's right, my beautiful sister, Emmy. And Miles was there, too. Tell them about meeting me, Emmy. That's right. The angels told me that Astra was on her way to pet heaven and that they wanted me to greet her so she wouldn't be at all nervous about what pet heaven was like. Sure, I was a little sad that Astra had to leave our family for a little while, like I did too, but I was also very happy to be reunited with Astra, who I love so much. Tell our family about pet heaven, Astra. Sure. In Pet Heaven, the weather is perfect for us, and there are more toys and activities for us to be involved in than you could ever imagine. And the angels, oh, the angels, all of them are so nice and loving to us. Remember when Emmy said that the angels told her I was coming? Well, she was talking about four angels who are our very own special angels. That's right. They are the angels that Emmy and I spend most of our time with. Miles is with us, too, but you know Miles. You barely know he's around. And would you believe this? Our special angels even look almost just like all of you, our family. So much so that at first, I would get so excited that I would even call them Mommy and Daddy and Star and Cheyenne. And then Emmy would laugh at me. <laughs> yeah. Astra was just new here, so she had to learn how things work in Pet Heaven. I had to learn too. I even asked our special angels to call me Queen when I first got here, and the angels laughed so hard that I started laughing too. <laughs> I'm teaching Astra. I told her, don't call them Mommy, Daddy, Star, and Cheyenne, because they really aren't. You are family but that it was all right to call our special angels, Angel Mommy, Angel Daddy, Angel Star, and Angel Cheyenne. I told her that our special angels are just standing in for all of you until the day that we're all reunited again. She understands now that yes, although our angels are special to us, no one could ever take your places because you are our family. So they are the angels we spend most of our time with. And yes, Astra and I still watch over all of you, just like we did when we were with you physically. Tell them more about life here, Astra. Our lives here are much like the lives we had with you. Most nights, we sleep with Mommy Angel. And some nights, we sleep with Cheyenne Angel and Star Angel. And Emmy taught me to be sure to snuggle with all of them when we wake up in the morning. You know why? Because when we snuggle with them, I swear we can sniff the same scent that we smelled when we were with you. That makes us so relaxed and happy. Then it's off to our busy day. Now, here in Pet Heaven, you have to understand, we get to do whatever we want to do. So things are a little different than when we live with you. First of all, we can eat whatever we want to eat, and we can eat as much as we want to eat. And our angels have told us that we never, ever have to worry about getting chubby. It's so cool. We decided we wanted to eat just once a day at breakfast time, and Astra and I just pig out on treats, hot dogs, carrots, and apples. Wait a second. What I meant was I eat like a little diva, and Astra eats like a little piggy. Then after breakfast, we split up for a while. Daddy Angel comes to get Astra and Miles, and they go looking for ponds to swim in. Of course, Daddy Angel has to carry Miles, while Astra just goes off running like she's crazy. Now me, Miss Emmy, prefers to act a little more devolicious, 
and like the queen that I am. So I spend the early part of my day with my girly angels doing girly things. Can you imagine how we spend that time? First, I ask the angel girls to bring me the queen's wardrobe for the day. And I remind them that since I'm used to being a spoiled queen, I'm accustomed to my people jumping to meet my every whim. And you wouldn't believe it. They bring me at least ten different dress and hat outfits for me to try on and decide which will be my outfit for the day's activities. The angels just sit and smile as I try on every combination, all the while singing as only I can sing. Then, when I've decided, we go in search of Daddy Angel, Astra, and Miles. Cause you know that I love to swim too. And of course, I get Mommy, Star, and Cheyenne Angels to carry me. You know, some things never change. Now, while Emmy is involved in all her diva nonsense, she's correct in telling you that I take off running, looking for the perfect pond for each day. I leave Daddy Angel and Miles in my dust as I streak around as fast as I can. Every once in a while, I'll slow down when I see some other dogs playing. You know, just in case they want to challenge me to a race. But they never do anymore, because, you know, you were right. I am the fastest pup here. I find a new swimming hole every day, but this is the way I like to do it. I find an area with three ponds close together with an apple tree close by, just like at home with you. Then I sit down right in the center of all three ponds and wait for Daddy Angel and Miles to find me. I ask them, hey, which of these ponds do you want to swim in? Well, you know how that goes. No matter which one they choose, I get to barking and arguing with them until I get my way, and I choose the swimming hole of the day. So, we get to swimming. And then later, Mommy Angel, Star Angel, Cheyenne Angel, and Emmy show up to swim with us. After Emmy gets her queen outfit off, all of us are in and out of the water all the rest of the day. We take breaks just to lie in the grass. It's just like you told me it would be, the greenest grass I've ever seen. Ugh. During the breaks, Emmy insists on putting her outfit back on and singing for us. I usually wander off to eat a couple apples during her show. Sometimes I try to stuff a couple apples in my ears when she's singing. <laughs> As you might imagine, all our day's activities do wear us out, even in pet heaven. So we then head home to get ready for a good night's sleep. And by the way, at the end of the day, while Astra always looks so wet and dirty, I still manage to look like royalty. So see, we have a great life here, much like the life we had with you that we loved so much. We love all of you, and we dedicate this song to all of you. We will live forever in your hearts and minds, our friends. If you cherish all the memories you have of us and then, when you think of us, be happy for all the time we had. If you must cry, cry tears of joy. Don't cry because you're sad. For the reason we were sent to you is simple, but it's true. In the too brief time we had together, we had a job to do. To make you smile and brighten up your days, if just a bit. We know we did our job so well, we were a perfect fit. So think of us real often, of the great times that we had. Don't let your memories of us cause sorrow, please be glad that we could share a bond so close, soulmates through and through. Just close your eyes, reminisce and smile, we're always there for you. Well. We have to go now. It's getting close to bedtime here, and I hear our special angels calling us. Emmy and I have this little routine we use every night before we go to sleep. We snuggle with Mommy Angel, or Cheyenne Angel, and Star Angel, all the way up till the time we go to sleep. 
because that guarantees that Emmy and I will dream about our life with our awesome family every night. I wonder if you would do me a favor. Please tell Bernie I said thank you for helping me the day I crossed the bridge, and that I really am sorry for giving him such a hard time. I do miss Bernie, and I want to be his friend when I see him again. We love all of you so much. Mommy, Daddy, Star, Cheyenne, Blackie, and Bear. And we know that we'll see you again and be a loving family again someday in heaven. Thanks so much for the loving care that you gave me during my illness. You made my last days with you happy by letting me know that I was going to go to this special place beyond the Rainbow Bridge. You did the right thing for me on my last day, and I will always remember having my head in your lap, Mommy. Thanks for being there for me. Astra is so right about that, Mommy, Daddy, Star, and Cheyenne. You all also helped me so much through my illness. I needed you, and you gave me all that I needed. Oh, and by the way, you did assume correctly. I did fly to the Rainbow Bridge with wings. As you know, I had a pretty rough life before I came to live with you. I had no idea that people could ever love me until I met all of you, my family. Why, I couldn't even walk, but with your love and the help that my family made sure that I got, I did get to use my legs again. You gave me what I thought I would never have, a normal life filled with love. Mommy, I know that I was kind of special to you. It wasn't very hard to figure that out, what with the way you spoiled me so much. And I know you say that I was a real fighter, but it was the love I got from you, Mommy, and knowing that I finally had someone that thought I was worthy of being special to them that gave me the will to fight so hard to walk again. I did that for you, Mommy. As Astra said earlier, of course, we miss all of you, but we're safe and happy here, too. We had such wonderful lives with you when we were with you physically, and we could never tell you until now just how much we appreciated how all of you, Mommy, Cheyenne, Star, and Daddy, gave us such a safe, happy, and loving home. Emmy and I thank you so much for making us members of your family, not just your pets. For that, we will be eternally grateful to you. And that includes you too, Star and Cheyenne, our beautiful sisters. We thank all of you for being such awesome friends to us all through our lives with you and for your loving compassion through our illnesses. Astra and I are still with you in your hearts and we know that someday we will all be together again because that bond of love that we share can never be broken. So celebrate all the happy memories we left with you and visit with us often by viewing this video love letter to you from us. Always remember, whenever you do think of us, smile.